Last Friday, former Cardinals executive Terry McDonough won a $3 million award from the Arizona Cardinals for defamation of his character, not for anything that happened while he was working for the team, but from the ridiculous, embarrassing, unbecoming PR statement that the team put out attacking him for having the gall to try to defend what he believed was a violation of his legal rights. Now, the Cardinals won somehow on the wrongful discharge claim. Well, I know how they won because it was resol resolved by the secret rig kangaroo court of Roger Goodell or his designee. But even there, the rig court could not ignore the depths of the false defamatory and malicious allegations made by the Cardinals against Terry McDonough. Now, Miles, we have chapter two because McDonough was limited to arbitration against the Cardinals. He could sue the outside PR firm that put out the defamatory statement, and he has. He could sue the law firm that was involved in gathering the dirt on Terry McDonough so they could load up the statement to make him look bad because how dare you pursue legal rights against the great and powerful Bidwell of Arizona? Go after the law firm. And on top of it, Terry Bidwell's wife, who arguably was defamed by the implication that she was the victim of extreme domestic violence. His daughter, who was arguably defamed by the characterization that his father had abandoned her financially and cut her off completely. They can sue the Cardinals and Bidwell because they're not parties to any arbitration agreement. So McDonough suing the PR firm. Jim McCarthy, the PR executive, the lawyer that was involved in this and his firm and McDonough's wife and daughter suing everybody, including the Cardinals, for defamation. And off we go. We said the other day, if he gets three million in arbitration for this defamation, what does a real court do? What does a real right. jury do? At a minimum, you add a zero to the three, maybe add a zero and double it or triple it by the time it's all said and done miles wow wow i mean that's pretty remarkable i mean the, the fact that you know as you put it the the nfl's kangaroo court you know the secret you know arbitration process already awarded him as much as he was awarded i think is is pretty remarkable um but th this to me kind of brings up more questions about the stewardship of Bidwell with the franchise. I mean, it's not like, you know, we're talking about Dan Snyder here and I, I don't want to put it on that level or even like a Jerry Richardson, but you know, there have been report. There has been, I should say reporting about Bidwell and his stewardship of the franchise and the kind of culture that is pervasive within the Arizona Cardinals. And I think when you see something like this, where even the NFL's arbitration process awards McDonough $3 million, you know, for that defamatory statement that obviously was written because Bidwill wanted it to be like that to me raises more questions about what exactly is going on with that franchise under Bidwill. It does. And, and let me just say this, we have to break, but it's very simple. If the reaction to an employee pursuing his legal rights in a valid, acceptable way through the normal arbitration process that's spelled out in his contract, if that causes the Cardinals to react by saying, we're going to tear this guy down, we're going to dig up any dirt we can, we're going to make him look bad, that's indicative of a mindset that's going to manifest its way, itself in all sorts of other poisonous, toxic ways that if Mary Jo White ever went in there poking around, Maybe she'd find something that would force Michael Bidwell down the road, just like Dan Snyder. It's all a matter of will someone ever go in there and poke around and see what they can find the same way they tried to find stuff on Terry McDonough. It would be a nice, fair turnabout if that were to happen. All right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.